Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium on the campus of Brockton High School, where today the West Bridgewater Wildcats come to town to face your three and five boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Marciano. West Bridgewater wearing their away maroon jerseys with white trim. Brockton with their home whites with red and black trim. Brockton coming off an impressive, impressive swing in the big three, 2-0. And, oh, and a 5-3 win against New Bedford. The boxer's latest matchup. Starting goaltenders for West Bridgewater is Sophie Roy, the eighth grader. And for Brockton, it is Tori Viola Lothry in her senior season. Very, very spectacular performances early in this season. So we're getting attacked by bees here in the press box. They're back. Brockton head coach Denise Glennon unable to attend today. So Mr. Kaprinsky is in charge of the boxes. This shot launches wide to the right. West Bridgewater with it, but finding its way out of bounds for a Wildcat throw in. Mr. Kaprinsky coached this boxers team to a win in West Bridgewater earlier in the season. As Coach Glennon was not in attendance at that game. Now a game of escaping the bees. Now this is colors up to Lena Marion. Marion with a shot in no direction in particular. West Bridgewater with an opportunity. is going to have to be chased down by Serena De Silva, who is going to send it out of bounds. And that should be a throw-in deep in the corner for the Wildcats. Viola Lothry sporting the blue goalkeeper's shirt today. Her normal pink, dark gray, and black shirt out of the rotation for the rest of this week. Mathelier up to Colors. Colors trying to find Hendrigan, Hendrigan looking over the top for Kayla Murphy, unsuccessful, and West Bridgewater able to take over and clear it back across midfield. Now Colors in a foot race, she's got some room and it's gonna be cleared by the Wildcats. 
But right there is Lara Cardoso. Brockton unable to keep it in. That was number 15 of the boxers. Cardozo to throw it in for the boxers. Yeah, Marion can't keep it in. A sloppy start to this one. Now Jayla Smith sending this one out of bounds. Shot on Viola Lothary is easily picked up. The biggest story in the last few weeks for the Lady Boxers. Senior Captain Janae Dimanche Silva breaking her collarbone in a road game against Weymouth. Game in which it was downpouring and she had an awkward fall. She is out for the rest of the year. Leaving the Boxers with a hole in the front mid, as well as losing one of their top scorers. Well, Lothry is going to pick this one up. 32 minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first half. Still scoreless between the West Bridgewater Wildcats and your Brockton boxers. Very young team for the Wildcats. Only two seniors listed on the roster. A handful of juniors and two eighth graders and a seventh grader. It's in their starters on the bench. There's an additional eighth grader and another seventh grader. Brockton's defense having trouble clearing it out. This shot is going to be picked up by Viola Lothry with 31-20 to go. defense really having trouble keeping it on West Bridgewater's side of the field. This is the start of a long day for BCA Sports. At the conclusion of this game, be hitting the highway, traveling down Route 1, stop at Lambert Steli. As we find ourselves at Severian Brothers High School. For 
the annual football matchup between the Hawks and the Boxers. Both teams one and three. I think that's the first time you can say that in about a decade, especially for Severian, who had not lost more than one game a season for the last four years. Back-to-back -back state champions in 2014 and 15. Making it all the way to the title game last year. Beat out by the Everett Crimson Tide. And Everett came in as a five seed in the north, north sectional. And just, they destroyed everybody. They did not score less than 45 points in a game throughout the whole tournament. And that includes the championship game. In which they won 45 to 28. But should be a good matchup. It's coming up right after this game on Channel 98. So stay tuned. Because it's a full slate of boxer sports. First corner kick of the afternoon for the Wildcats. Low kick in Viola Lothry. Trying to jump up and pick it out of midair is unable to do so. Jayla Karn Stewart and Donnell Davids coming into the game for the boxers. Kyla Colors and Serena De Silva. Take a breather on the boxers bench. Short bench today, only looks like five players available for substitutions. And that includes the starters De Silva and Colors along with Olivia Shaw. Megan Ortendahl. And of course, always hanging by the bench is the senior captain, Jeanne de Manchi Silva. Now Lena Marion with some room to run on the near side, trying to get around a Wildcat defender. Self-pass is going to be deflected off of Marion. Good pressure put on by Lena Marion. And she has again, trips herself up and it rolls out of bounds. Othelia sending this one back to Viola Lothry. Just north of 25 minutes to go in the first half. Still scoreless between the Wildcats and the Boxers. Bad throw by Lara Cardozo as she stepped inbounds. And the ball was not over her head. We're going to have a hold against the Wildcats. So Brockton will have a free kick deep in their own territory.
Brockton looking to inch closer to 500 on the year. And the last matchup of these two teams at West Bridgewater is Lena Marion has a lot of room to run. She launches a shot, it's going to spin and curve wide to the right. Last matchup between these two teams, a one to nothing win at West Bridgewater. Victoria Wright coming into the game, the senior for the Wildcats. West Bridgewater substitution number 18, Victoria Wright. Now foot race, Danelle David's able to make the turn. Get thrown for Brockton just inside midfield from about the 49 yard line of the football markings. This one sent right back out. Good play by coach Kaprinski on the sideline. Now Lena Marion can't catch up to it. It'll be a wildcat throw in. Marion only a freshman with a very impressive skill set, including self passes. And now Kayla Murphy with a low shot is picked up by Sophie Raw, the first Sophie Roy, excuse me. The first shot on net for the boxers this afternoon. <laughs> Throwing for the boxers. Cardozo will throw this one in. Finding Hendrigan. Now Dos Anjos can't catch up to it. Bounces back to Mathelier and now Jayla Smith from midfield is gonna get a shot. Eva Adams getting ready to come into the game. She's the other eighth grader on the West Bridgewater roster. Sophie Roy picking this one up. Very healthy crowd here at Marciano Stadium. So now Murphy trying to create some space, unable to do so. Wildcats clear out. This game kicking off at 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday. The Boxers triple header this afternoon. Two of the three games will make air on BCA. 5.30 field hockey matchup here at Marciano. And of course we are at Severian for football. Free kick from about the 37 yard line taken by number four. Amanda Wells, and this one sent high and wide over the Brockton net. So, Eva Adams and Olivia Shaw coming into the game. Shaw replacing Lena Marion up front.
Halfway through the first half, still scoreless between the West Bridgewater Wildcats and the Brockton Boxers. Again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from the Peter Farley press box overlooking both Armand Colombo Field and the Harry C. Allen track and the John Walden Snack Shack here at Rocky Marciano Stadium. Shaw can't catch up to this one. through with a few saves early in this first half. Same can be said for the eighth grader, Sophie Roy, on the other end of the field. We're going to call it Marina Duffy, the seventh grader. Her name scratched out on the roster the coach gave us, but no other player has 13 listed next to her. Brockton looking very lackadaisical, I think would be the word. So the 3.30 p.m. start, not something the boxers are used to. Usually their games start at 6 o'clock p.m. It's a Friday, end of the school week. Davids slowing it down, sending it across midfield. It's not going to connect and it's going to find its way out of bounds. <laughs> Stephanie Elves and Megan Ortendahl getting ready to come into the game for the boxers. On sides, a shot is going to go through the foot, the football uprights. Kick is good. Something that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were unable to do last night. Connor McCarthy into the game for the Wildcats. Fifteen minutes left in the first half. <laughs> West Bridgewater free kick should be coming back to just inside midfield. Brockton able to take it right off the bat. Daniel Davids and Hendrigan doing good work for the boxers and now an onside play is going to be deflected by Jayla Smith into the awaiting arms of Tori Viola Lothry. <laughs> Hannah 
Handball called against Brockton now. This one's going to find its way out of bounds. It will be a Brockton throw in. Brockton sending a lot of long passes to no one in particular. going down to I need to make this stop. Twelve and a half minutes left in what has been a very long first half. Now a little break for Alicia Talkman. Her shot and a save by Sophie Roy. Brockton's best opportunity of the afternoon. And a good save by Sophie Roy. Shea O'Neill, another seventh grader getting ready to come into the game for the Wildcats. No, an offside is going to be called against, I think that's Kyla Colors up front. Excuse me, Stephanie Alves. More rolling substitutions for the boxers. Looks like Colors and Marion going to come into the game. Whether it's Vanessa Dos Anjos and Lena Marion, the two freshmen on the roster. And now joining O'Neill for West Bridgewater is number two, Alyssa Gill. And number eight, McKenna O'Neill. So those platoon of Wildcats and boxers make their way into the game. Number one, number eight, Under 10 minutes left in the first half, 9.45 in a scoreless matchup between the Wildcats and the Boxers. Very long first half. As the boxers' intensity does not seem to be there today. So it was a 
fairly late night to be a New England sports fan. Triple header yesterday. Red Sox first pitch at four o'clock. Unable to get past the Houston Astros. Actually playing right now as we speak. Game two of the American League Divisional Series. At seven o'clock. A dominating performance for the Boston Bruins in their season opener against the Nashville Predators. And at 8.30 p.m. kickoff, we saw the New England Patriots barely escape Tampa Bay with a win. Came down to a last second incomplete pass by Jameis Winston who in full disclosure is on my fantasy team. I was rooting for him and Doug Martin throughout the game so long as they did not defeat the Patriots and that was the case. Strong performances by both of them set the Mad Dogs up for a good week. That game getting over shortly after midnight. Then of course, for the students anyway, you gotta wake up at you know, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Be at Brockton High for 7.20 is when the late bell rings here at Brockton High. It's not a lot of sleep. So we approach seven minutes left. More substitutions for the boxers. Sophie Roy picking this one again. Our Cardoza getting ready to come into the game for the boxers. Crossman substitution number four, Elise Kaufman, and number 23, Laura Cardoza. Olivia Mathelier coming out of the game for Brockton. Five and a half minutes left to go now in the first half. Still scoreless between the Wildcats and the Boxers. Smith heading this one up and now Carton Stewart to Madison Hendrigan. Hendrigan sending it up again to no one in particular. Talkman's there, trying to turn the corner. Now stopping, sending it in, and it will go just wide, but off of Sophie Roy, so it'll be a corner kick for the boxers to be taken by Kayla Murphy. Murphy, a low kick. And Marion fighting for it, creating some space, sending it into the box, and it's picked up by Sophie Roy.
West Bridgewater just shutting the really the Boxers attack down. There's only been a few opportunities early in this game, but the best one of the afternoon coming up right here is a free kick about about 27 yards out from net. Madison Hendrigan going to take it for the Boxers. Right on net, and it's going to go off the football crossbar and out of play. Masalia coming in for Megan Ortendahl. Marion turning on the Jets, creating some space, stopping and starting. Now Murphy falls in as the next layer. She sends a cross into the box for Jayla Smith. Smith can't get her shot off. I think Brockton was trying to set up more of a one-timer shot for Jayla Smith out in front. Two minutes to go in the first half. Official time kept on the field by the referees. We do not have the stopwatch going for the Mad Dog Research team to end this first half. No call. Brockton's still looking for the call. Cardozo with a miscommunication with Bala Lothry. And West Bridgewater will have a throw in with about a minute and 15 seconds left. David's unable to gather it. Now Mathelier with a little misstep. Now Talkman sending it out of bounds off of one of the Wildcats. Box are throwing from about the 35 yard line. Maybe about no seconds left in the first half. So the whistles blow, and the score at halftime is 0-0. Zero to zero. The West Bridgewater Wildcats really shutting down the Brockton Boxers. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. <laughs> You are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between the West Bridgewater Wildcats and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above Colombo Field here on the campus of Brockton High School. 
Not much action in the first half. Tied at zero. Coming into the second. West Bridgewater wearing their away maroon jerseys and shorts with white trim. Brockton, their home whites with red and black trim. This one all the way in on Sophie Roy, who knocked it out of the air and then caught it. Now Lena Marion with a shot. It's going to go off the post, but still in. Now Alicia Tokeman with it. Talkman out to Denell Davids. Davids with a long shot is going to bounce it on Roy, but it's going to be off sides against Brockton. Beautiful afternoon for soccer here. 71 degrees. A slight breeze from north to south. Gusts of maybe eight and a half miles an hour. Gonna have an offsides against West Bridgewater. The football team has started to arrive for their trip to Westwood. Still scoreless here between the Wildcats and the Boxers. Cardozo and Jayla Smith teaming up to clear this one, but not out. Whistling some confusion. It's going to be a free kick for the boxers. Maybe a delayed offsides whistle. And now the officials are going to confer. A lot of confusion on the field. West Bridgewater believes they have a goal. Brockton believes it was offsides. The whistle blew before the ball crossed the goal line. Now the ref has to explain himself to the West Bridgewater coach. It's going to be a free kick for West Bridgewater from about 30 yards out from net. And now they're going to move it up to the 10 yard line which makes it about 20 yards out from net. The boxer's wall is nowhere close to being 10 yards away from the kick. This one going to go directly in on Viola Lothary. 
And all that confusion and nothing. Sophie Roy diving on top of this one. Five minutes into the second half. Now Lena Marion on the far side with some room. Her shot is going to sail through the football uprights. And the boxers have now kicked more field goals successfully today than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have in the last three games. The surprising thing is Nick Folk, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers kicker, has missed five of his six last field goals, is still on the roster. Like, you guys have to understand, the New York Jets cut him. If you're not good enough to make the Jets, probably should be looking for a different career. It's West Bridgewater clearing this one out. Roy dropping this one, but able to dive on it before the attacking boxers could catch up. West Bridgewater sending this one out of bounds at the goal line, but forward of the corner, so it'll be a throw in, and now Murphy attempting the bicycle kick. The execution was a little bit off. The interesting roster composition of West Bridgewater. Three eighth graders, two seventh graders, a couple of freshmen, handful of juniors, and only two seniors. David sending this one off for Talkman. Talkman to Hendrigan who can't stop it. And now back to Jayla Curran Stewart. Thrown for the boxers, Lara Cardozo on the far side, sending it in to Madison Hendrigan, popping it up over her head. Now David's. Up for Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos can't handle it. Now getting it back. We're going to have a whistle. It's going to be a West Bridgewater free kick. Just outside of midfield. Current Stewart stopping that one right in her chest. Murphy turning the corner. 
not much room to go to Hendrigan. Hendrigan a step ahead of it. You're not trying to find I mean, a Marion on the far side. Madison Hendrigan launching one is blocked away by number five of the Wildcats. That is Nicole Berglund. Ten minutes into the second half, still scoreless. Sophie Roy making another save. Especially for an eighth grader. She's had a very good performance here today. Brockton unable to catch up to this one. It'll be a boxer throw in. So deflected out of bounds off of the Wildcats. David's throwing this one into Dos Anjos. Launching one into the box, looking for Jayla Smith. Now, Talkman doesn't quite put enough on it. Talkman launching one, and now Hendrigan bouncing a weak shot in on Roy, who makes the easy save. Murphy for Hendrigan. Hendrigan looking up for Smith, who was rotated from back midfielder to forward. Whistle stoppage penalty against the boxers. Again, coming up right after this on Brockton Community Access. Brockton Boxer Football against Severian. BCA Sports making the trip to Westwood. Murphy can't catch up to it on the far side. Busy week for BCA Sports next week. Giddy up. Five games in six days. <laughs> Columbus Day matchup. Boys soccer here at Marciano. Tuesday, the girls are home. Thursday, the boys are home. Friday, we've got football. And Saturday, the girls are home. Oh, 
you know, two on two up turf for the Wildcats and now it's a breakaway for number 11. And she puts it in the back of the net. Number 11, Stephanie Brodill assisted by number nine, Elizabeth Williams. And the Wildcats are up one to nothing and maybe that will light the fire under the Brockton Boxers. So it's Brodo from Williams. Wildcats up one to nothing in what has been a very lackluster effort here for the boxers. Yeah, Roy picking this one up. Hendrigan able to take it momentarily before West Bridgewater clears it back across midfield. Now Tori Viola Lothry picking this one up. Twenty-four minutes remaining in the second half. One to nothing. Wildcats over the boxers. Number eighteen as Brockton's gonna call their timeout. Victoria Wright will be coming in for the Wildcats off of this timeout. And with 23 minutes and 56 seconds remaining, we're gonna take a short break <laughs> and bring you the rest of second half action right after this. Michael Adams. Here. Michael Adams. Here. Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Welcome back into Marciano Stadium for the remainder of second half action between the West Bridgewater Wildcats and the Brockton Boxers. West Bridgewater leading one to nothing. The goal from Stephanie Brodill assisted by Elizabeth Williams. This one pops him up. Can of corn in the middle of the field. And it's going to be offsides against the Wildcats. Brockton playing with fire. Mind you, coming up on Brockton Community Access. We go from football to football. Traveling down Route 1 into Westwood, Severian Brothers High School. Go to the Hawk Bowl for the first night matchup in Westwood between the Boxers and the Hawks. Probably ever. He just put lights in at Severian. Severian with a disappointing year. Probably already factored out of winning the Catholic Conference. This BC High is just scary. Severian's one in three. They've suffered more losses already this year than they have in the last three years combined. That's a real stat. Three losses this year, the last three seasons combined 
They have lost two games. Should at least be more competitive than the, the Houston and Red Sox series going on. one out yelling for uh, whistles she's not going to get it and Serena De Silva and Megan Orton doll will come into the game you know, Alicia Talkman with some room heading towards the middle of the field trying to send it ahead for Lena Marion Marion catching up to it and poked out of bounds by the Wildcats and we have some substitutions to Silva and Orton Dahl in Hendrigan heading this one up. No boxer in the area. It'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Jayla Smith is going to take this one. Sending a low kick in, and it's loose. And Kayla Murphy taking that corner kick. Now Danelle Davids, Brockton only with one man back on defense. That is Olivia Mathelier, who now sends it up to Colors, now to De Silva. Sent all the way back. It's going to be taken by Tori Viola Lothry. <laughs> David's taking this one up to De Silva. De Silva, nowhere to go with it. Sending it out of bounds, it'll be a wildcat throw in. Eighteen minutes to go on the second half. One to nothing Wildcats over the boxers. Again the goal from Stephanie Brodell assisted by Elizabeth Williams. Viola Lothry save for the one goal. She had a fairly good performance in net. And the eighth grader on the other side. <laughs> Sophie Roy has had a very good day in net. Olivia Shaw into the game. She replaces Lena Marion. 
And number 16 for the Wildcats, Eva Adams, into the game as well. Roy picking this one up. And the boxers continue to have problems with sustained offensive pressure. for the boxers. It's Talkman and Dos Anjos come into the game. Talkman has been the most effective boxer today. Free kick for the Wildcats from about 55 yards out. Bouncing into Viola Lothry with 15.40 left to go. Fifteen minutes left in the second half. Brockton needs to get one within the next few minutes. And the way today's game is played out, it's probably going to come from the boot of Alicia Talkman. And now it's Brodill again. He has it taken off her feet by Denell Davids, but nobody's there, and West Bridgewater gets a shot off. It's going to go wide. Denell Davids with the defensive play of the game. It's Colors and De Silva coming out of the game and Viola Lothry sending this one back across midfield looking for Talkman. That's Kayla Murphy in the middle. Deflecting it up. Dos Anjos is not going to be able to keep it in bounds. It'll be a goal kick. Talkman looking up for number seven, Jayla Curran Stewart. for the Wildcats, 12 and a half minutes to go. Murphy picking that one. Now setting it up to Hendrigan, but a little bit too far. It's picked up 
by Sophie Roy. Some more substitutions. Laura Cardozo and Lena Marion coming in. Size against the Wildcats. Eleven and a half minutes to go. Remind you, stay tuned. Keep it on channel ninety-eight. Boxer football against Severian coming up at the conclusion of this game. Karen Stewart fighting for it. And it's sent back the other way. Daryl David stopping it before it crosses midfield. David's now sending this one in from 40 yards out. A little trickery on Sophie Roy, but she is able to keep it out of the net. David's taking this one off the forehead. Now Talkman unable to catch up to it. It's out of bounds. And rolling substitutions. Marion Cardozo in. Ref yelling, hold on. We have the stoppage roll the clock and we're back underway that was confusing now the substitutions make their way into the game Cardozo Marion in Ortendahl and Shaw out Corner kick for Kayla Murphy and the Boxers. Sending it high in and headed by Hendrigan and Talkman sends it through the uprights. The Boxers are now three for three on field goals. Much better than Nick Folk did last night. Eight fifteen to go. Boxers trailing one to nothing <laughs> to the West Bridgewater Wildcats. Sanos having trouble with it, and West Bridgewater takes over in the middle of the field. Wildcats four on four up turf. And Brockton able to clear out. Car 
Howard Stewart looking for Murphy. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Brockton. The goal kick with seven minutes left. Four on four for the Wildcats. Number nine with it. Creating some space. It's Elizabeth Williams who assisted on the lone goal, forcing a corner kick. Number four to take the corner kick, that's Amanda Wells. Wells low kick, deflected out by Danelle Davids. Procton unable to go anywhere. West Bridgewater right back into the boxers end of attack. Picked up by Tori Viola Lothry. Now Hendrigan to Marion. Marion with the ball on a string, sending it towards Sophie Roy, who has been spectacular, especially for an eighth grader. Against what has turned into a very potent boxer offensive attack. Five minutes to go in the second half. Brockton finally looks like the fire has been lit under them. Getting some offensive pressure. Interesting fan base here at Marciano. Someone just walked in with about half a kitchen worth of pots. This one sent in, that should be a corner kick and it will be for the boxers. And part of a triple header for boxer athletics today. Kicking off boxers in the West Bridgewater Wildcats, then the alumni hockey, uh, field hockey game. As this one's headed up and out of play. And a goal kick for the Wildcats. And then of course we travel to Severian Brothers High School for the football matchup. Could be very competitive. Should be very competitive. We'll see. And West Bridgewater is going to burn their timeout. The crowd finally coming alive here. We're going to step aside with this timeout and bring you the last three minutes and 32 seconds right after this. Goal kick. Five, four, three, two. Welcome back into Marciano Stadium. What has become a very loud Marciano Stadium for the last three minutes and 32 seconds of the second half. West Bridgewater leading your Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. That goal scored by Stephanie Brodell, assisted by Elizabeth Williams. Hey, 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 
fan section right in front of us, making it very hard to think. I never thought that I would see a water bottle used as an instrument. This is the first time for everything. to go in the second half. The clock will stop. The scoreboard clock will stop anyway. In four seconds. We do have the stopwatch going for the final two minutes here. Should the boxers have an offensive opportunity at the end of that two minutes, the referees will not be allowed to stop it. Same goes for West Bridgewater. As the crowd willing on the boxers, trying to will them enough energy to send the equalizer behind Sophie Roy. Two boxers colliding, Murphy's down. Now Talkman sending it for Marion. Lena Marion on the far side has to turn the corner. She'll bring it back the other way. Looking for Hendrigan now. Hendrigan with some space, sending it out of bounds off of one of the Wildcats. We'll have a throw in with about a minute left. Let's go boxers, the chant from the full house here at Marciano Stadium. This one sent right into the waiting arms of Sophie Roy. We'll send it back across midfield with about 45 seconds to go. A free kick for the boxers. A throw in, rather. Hendrigan with it, sending it up, looking for Kayla Murphy, who's in a foot race. It'll be won by West Bridgewater, who sends it out of bounds. They had plenty of room. It'll be a throw in with maybe about 15 seconds left. The whistles blow. I'm going to say the whistles blow early. We only hit 153 on the stopwatch. The game has ended, the final score, West Bridgewater won, the boxers nothing. Quite the interesting finish though. Quite the interesting finish. Brockton pouring on the pressure in the last five minutes. They needed to do that maybe about 80 minutes ago. So Brockton takes the loss, moves to three and six. But two and oh in the division. And a hearty hand for the home team as the effort was there in the late stages of this one. Again, the final score, one to nothing. The West Bridgewater Wildcats defeat the Brockton Boxers. Stay tuned, it's Brockton football versus Severian coming up on BCA right now. <laughs> 